What is up fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac signs. Hope y'all are well. Hope y'all are having a fabulous week. Um, this video will be uploaded for Friday morning. So happy Friday y'all. We finally made it. And um, hopefully I can get in. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. I hope I can. Uh, my plan is to do the element reads uh, tomorrow as well. I was going to do them tonight, but baby snow literally just went to sleep. You may be able to hear her snoring in the background. <laughs> She's knocked out finally. So, um, let me dive in. It's a lot. It's a little bit later than what I had planned on, but we're still going to dive in and see what the heck is going on with the energy. So, let's see. And then, of course, if I don't get um, a few videos uploaded, I will make sure to upload when I get home. So let's say, what's going on with Scorpio? What's in the energy for my Scorpios? Energy for Scorpios. Wouldn't expect that. <laughs> Angel of Love. 49. That's 13. That's 4. And the fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. Because this has to do with love, okay? Oh, I'm sorry. I was not expecting that. 49. Let's see. Tender connections. Okay, so this could be about um, a relationship. Hold on. I was not yawning before I started this reading. As soon as I started, that's when I started yawning. So this beautiful angel comes with roses in her hair and rose-colored wings. She holds a rose quartz heart, radiating tender and loving vibrations, bringing you compassion and affection. If you're looking for new love, this angel brings the message of its upcoming approach. Or if you are longing for a deeper, more intimate connection with someone already in your life, she's here to say that... Uh, Hmm. Get it together, Leslie. That far greater tenderness is available to you. Either way, remember that your first intention for tenderness must be directed inward, and the compassion that you dem demonstrate towards yourself will influence the energetic potential of these events in a significant way. So the angel of love is smiling on you and forging connections in the energetic realm. So, of course, how you treat yourself, how you love yourself is going to attract the type of person that type of person to come into your life okay so something about that is important so let's see let's just do two of these and then i'll clarify what's going on scorpio energy what's this angel of love about for scorpio look challenges make a decision work on inner healing so right now y'all could be in a, a healing phase okay Is not the right time. Um, there's a situation right now that you're going through where you still need some sort of healing that's going to prepare you for a new connection, okay? Um, or another connection. But there's something that, that um, Spirit wants you to go within and heal right now, and it has something to do with your heart chakra. About the way that you perceive love. This could be you needing to zoom back into yourself. Go with the end. Do I have some more coffee in here? Because, baby. I was not yawning at all before I started recording. So, what's going on with this energy? Pregnancy. Someone is expecting. Y'all can hear news of a pregnancy. This energy keeps coming out. Now, if this isn't a literal pregnancy, then this is just, you are very fruitful right now. You can be fruitful in business matters, money matters, um, friendships, relationships, just fertile energy right now, okay? Bottom of the deck, cycles, fate, karma, something ending, something beginning. There's a new beginning here. Some of y'all have been repeating like a karmic cycle. And this here represents like you could have grown or matured from it now with the pregnancy test. 
I mean, I said pregnancy test. It says pregnancy. Oh my gosh, some of y'all may need to take a pregnancy test. Ooh, child. Nope. I rebuke. I rebuke that. I don't want that on me. Nope. Nope. Of course, you can't be having sex. But, but, but anyway, um, my nose trying to run. Some of y'all need to take a pregnancy test, child. Mm mm. Mm mm. Others of you. This, there's a new beginning. Like some of y'all could just be loving. Like the Empress is about loving. She nurtures herself. She knows how to take care of herself, tend to herself, pamper herself. Okay, whether you're male or female, masculine, you could do the Empress energy too, where you get into that beard. You know what I'm saying? You go get your nails cleaned and stuff like that. That too. And that's that's representing that self love energy. Oh, something about a pregnancy could be a significant. I can't. I can't. We about to clarify, but let me blow my nose. That way I'm not sniffling all up in the phone because ugh, I can't stand that. Hold on one second. Mia's back. Okay. So let's see here. Let's see why this energy is coming out because I really want to find out what that pregnancy thing is. What is the cards that I want to use? Mm -hmm. That one wants the tea now. Let's go to the true. Let's go to the true emotional day. All right, spirit. What's going on with this energy? Okay. Let's start with uh, challenges. Make a decision. Work on inner healing. This could actually be preparing y'all for a connection that's about to come in towards you. Okay. There may be a situation where you need to like heal something. Okay, before you attract this, you know, it's kind of like a vibrational thing. Like, say you've been dealing with abandonment wounds or something like that, right? And then you meet somebody, it triggers it, and then you got to heal that part of you so that you can ascend to the next level, right? So you, you can be prepared for either the next phase or the next person that's meant to come into your life. So what's the challenges? Make a decision, work on inner healing. What's that? Massive regrets. So somebody could have regrets, whether this is you or your person, flip the roles however need be. Um, somebody could have massive regrets because they realize that they need to heal in a situation. That's why something may be going the way it's going. For some of y'all, it could be like a workplace affair. Somebody could have cheated. You know, somebody could be having an affair with somebody that they work with or collaborate with or something like that. love spell somebody could be under a love spell or they fail under a love spell an illusion romance bottom of the deck somebody somebody feels like they might have been a little gullible or you might have felt like you were gullible in a situation it's like somebody tried to keep you under a love spell like you know falseness fakeness and you might be realizing that, like, this person really don't, they not really in love with me for real. This person just kind of playing games with me type of energy. Let's make a decision. Work on inner healing. Love bombing phase. Some of y'all could have fell for a love bomber. First storm. Karma, drama, endings, loss, mental breakdown. Yeah, somebody could be going through karma right now. Um, somebody could be facing endings. They could be facing loss. Somebody could be literally having, like, going through a mental breakdown right now. Is some sort of karma or drama playing out? Karmic lesson. This could be karma because it, it could be a karma. You know, maybe you dealt with the karmic and they triggered you and you had to learn a lesson there so you can grow and heal a part of you that needed to be healed. Others of you, by you choosing to heal yourself, you are somebody, you could personally be somebody's karma because you're choosing you, right? You're choosing you and you're choosing to walk away. What's this? Make a decision, work on inner healing for Scorpio. Make a decision, work on inner healing for Scorpio. Yeah. 
I'm hearing that song uh, with Sam Smith. I'm way too good at goodbyes. <laughs> That's my song. Something making me cry. Yeah, that song. By Sam Smith. I'm way too good at goodbyes. That, that song is off the chain. Yeah, faith, healing, meditation, and praying. Somebody could be just having faith. Like, you know what? I'm just going to choose to heal. What's meant for me is meant for me. And... When it's meant to come in, it'll come in. Walk by faith, not by sight. Hey. <laughs> yeah, some of y'all were dealing with a runner. Or somebody, like, it's like you keep attracting energies that run from you. Or that run away from the connection. Or, you know, that runner-chaser dynamic. Because <sighs> we got running and romance. Divine Masculine. And not happy. And some of y'all, y'all could be in a twin flame, of course, situation. Divine masculine, divine feminine energy. And, uh, yeah, you may not be happy with this person right now. Or this person is realizing they're not happy because they need to do some inner healing. Now, this could be you seeing this person looking at them like you need to do some healing. You know, it could be either way. Flip the roles. Or both of y'all may need to do healing. Okay, y'all could be triggering each other. Whichever. Let's see what the hidden heart secrets are. Look for that challenges energy. Look for the challenges energy for Scorpio. Elusive. And they wanted to come in reverse. Dishonesty, deception, and trickery. Yeah, somebody could have been being deceitful, dishonest in the situation. There could have been some trickery afoot. Okay. Look, divine feminine. Some of y'all, this connection was meant to trigger both of y'all to heal so that somebody, one person could step into their divine masculine energy, the other one could step into their divine feminine energy. Others of you, this could be all you, boo. This was teaching you a lesson to balance out your divine feminine and divine masculine energy. Okay? What's the challenges? Care about the challenges for Scorpio? Obsession, infat infatuation, adoration, and addiction. You might be realizing that something wasn't really love anyways. It was just um, infatuation. Healing, releasing, purifying, cleansing. And now you're starting to realize, okay, I need to heal. I need to cleanse my energy. I need to release this because this really isn't love. It was a love spell. You know, somebody could have been like love bombing, showing up in this love bombing energy. Like, oh, I'm your soulmate. I'm your divine partner. I'm everything you wanted, you know, trying to show up in that kind of way to make you fall in love. But you realize that it was just a love spell. It wasn't true. And so because of that, because of the falseness, because of the dishonesty and trickery and deception, you could be choosing to say goodbye to it. It's like, yeah, I adore you. OK, yeah, you infatuated with me or whatever. It may be even a little obsessive, but this ain't love. This is not love. One day, someday, somewhere, another time. Somebody feels like one day y'all be together. Clarity, truth, intentions, and honesty. And when that day comes, they'll be able to be truthful. They'll have an honest conversation with you. Yeah, karma, consequences, cause and effects, and debts. But I don't know. There could be some karma here. longing, craving, aching, wanting. Somebody could be having to pay back karma. For some of y'all, somebody could owe karmic debt as well. Influences, attachment, third parties, and peers. There could be third party influences as well that could be keeping you two apart and stuff. Now, what's pregnancy? Child, I ain't going to stay too long on it. What's the pregnancy card? Whoa. Faith, healing, meditation, praying. Yeah, some of y'all are praying. Look, y'all, what is this? Pregnancy test, fake news. Maybe it was like a false start. For some of y'all, something about somebody could have been praying to get pregnant and somebody else was like, no. Or somebody could have been praying that you got pregnant or that you were pregnant. 
What's this pregnancy card someone is expecting? This could also be someone expecting growth in a situation. You know, like I'm expecting for us to grow and expand, but what's the pregnancy card? Karmic ties, but somebody could be karmically tied to somebody else. Getting readings, family. For some of y'all, somebody got a whole other family. Somebody could be getting readings on you too, watching readings. What's pregnancy test? It came out, y'all, getting readings. Family. She's so out. Okay, what's the pregnancy test? Something about, what's the pregnancy test for Scorpio? Moving on, letting go, loving you, and free. For some of y'all, somebody may need a break free of a baby mama or a baby daddy. Running. Keep hearing noises. Jezebel. Self-love. For others of you, this person, they could just be, you know, a Jezebel energy. They could be in this low vibrational Jezebel energy. You may just need to love yourself enough to walk away karmic lesson and that may be the lesson in itself somebody needs to learn a lesson of self-love here gps somebody could be tracking somebody watching somebody ashamed guilt embarrassed in the wrong and somebody could be embarrassed that somebody's tracking somebody or like stalking somebody or Or about not traveling towards somebody or coming towards somebody. I don't know. What's the pregnancy test? I keep saying pregnancy test. Somebody please go take a damn pregnancy test. <laughs> like, good Lord. What's the pregnancy card? I don't know if somebody panicked and thinking they're pregnant or something. Go take a pregnancy test, child. Go take the pre go take the test. What's the pregnancy card for Scorpio? And if you don't want to be pregnant, you better go get on birth control, honey. I do the patch. Pop that thing on. Bow. You know what I'm saying? What's the pregnancy test? <laughs> Y'all better, better do something. What's the pregnancy test? What's the pregnancy test? Whoa. Y'all, what is going on? Only you, devoted, attached, and crave. And then intuition, heart song, telepathy, and inner knowing. Somebody could be like trying to communicate to you telepathically as well. Now I'm hearing, I only want to be with you. Oh, yeah. Yes, I'd rather be with you. I'd rather be with you. Especially with somebody else. And they're thinking about being with you. Thinking. Missing you, craving, and desire. So they are thinking about you. They're desiring to be with you. They want this new start, this fresh start. But it's like they have to heal first. Heal from some sort of karmic lesson or something like that. They need to let go of something from their past or um, in order to come towards you and be devoted to you. Obscurity, secrets, mysteries, and concealing. This person could be hiding some. Peace, balance, harmony, and friendship. Silence, frozen, no words, stonewall. Y'all may not even be talking to each other right now. Return. Second chip. Second now heard. Return up the neck once again. Ooh, this person could be a player, y'all. That was my daddy's song. He would play that every time he go through a breakup. And he'd be back on the prowl. Return up the neck once again. Return up the neck. Oh, my God. <laughs> if y'all know that song, look it up. Return of the Mac is, is a very popular song. <laughs> you lied to me. <laughs> If you didn't know something, I love you. Whatever you be saying, you lied to me. Yes, you did. Oh, somebody could have lied. 
somebody wasn't being honest here about a start or about a pregnancy or about a baby mama or about starting something with you, growing with you, expanding with you, okay? Somebody just, somebody could have lied. Somebody could have been cheating. Child. This person's thinking about you heavily. Craving you, desiring you. There could be a particular song that you two both uh, relate to because it says heart song. Both of y'all could have a particular song that like you like y'all song like y'all have a song together and you know like, okay, yeah, this is my song for my person and this is my song for my person, right? So there could be something about a song that could be of significance. Let's see, any initials or anything like that? I have the initial C. Okay, for Scorpio, Scorpio messages. Okay, we have C, Leo, Taurus. What's going on? Q, QC, CQ. What's going on? Come on, messages for Scorpio. Messages for Scorpio. Last shuffle. Now, come on now. I'm not taking all down. I take. I don't care. I take. W. Bottom of the deck. L. Aries. November. D. E. Capricorn. August. September could be a significant. N. Libra. A. X. December, G, V. I see DNA. Somebody may need to do a DNA test. <laughs> Landon could be a name. Van, Vinny, Dana, Lene. Oh my gosh. LD. Gina, Aiden, Danielle, Landon, did I say that? Zayden, Denny, Dean, Nina, Okay. Oh, there's a lot of names. G D Van Gina Jen Jen Geneva. Okay. Quincy, Elsie, okay, I'm going to leave there. Scorpio, this is what I have for you. Hope it brings you clarity and insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.